Hi friends, welcome to my channel, Renu's Chat and Talk. If you are new, please do subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share my video with your friends and family. So far as degrees of comparison is concerned, we discussed the formation of degrees in different forms, it's regular, single syllable and ending with Y, different formations we observed. And then we learned even transformation of degrees of comparison. How you do, how do you transform from one degree to another degree? That we learned. And today, the same topic, degrees of comparison, we just learned the common errors. What are the common mistakes the children do so far as this topic is concerned? In degrees of comparison, what are the common errors the children make? So we learn about that, okay? Are you ready? The first one is, don't use double comparatives or double superlatives in a sentence, okay? If a sentence is there, you should not use two comparatives, double means two, two comparatives or two superlatives. Look at this example. These mangoes are more tastier than those mangoes. Okay, more tastier, two words, isn't it, comparatives. So, that is wrong. You should use only these mangoes are tastier than those mangoes. He is more taller than I. More taller than I. Wrong. More you should not use. He is taller than I. It is correct. So, double comparatives you should not use in a sentence. But when there are more than two syllables are there for the word, like beautiful and all those are there, at that time you can go for more and most useful, more useful, then you can use. But already taste here, here we added for this word, isn't it? Again, you should not use more before that. Okay, taste here already, ER form, we used one, comparative form. Again, you should not use more. Okay, so that is the mistake, common mistake the children do. So, double comparatives you should not use in a sentence. Similarly, double superlatives. He was the most tallest boy in the class. Okay, he was the tallest boy in the class. Correct. So, most tallest you should not use. Okay, so this is wrong. He was the tallest boy in the class class. She was the cleverest student in the class. She was the most cleverest. You should cleverest already. EST we added for this word. Again most you should not use. So this you should take care. So never use double comparatives or double superlatives. This is the first thing you should remember. What's the second one? When selection of two one out of two persons is there in your sentence then the degree of comparison it is to be followed by of the, of the, when there is a comparison of one out of two persons you are talking, then you should say use of the in your sentence. Like he is wiser of the two brothers, of the two brothers, he is the wiser one. So you should use of after the comparative adjective immediately you should use of the when one out of two persons or two things is implied in your sentence then you should use after this word immediately you should use of the he is wiser of the two brothers she is braver of the two girls or she is taller of the two girls like that of the you should write in such cases don't use superlative when two things are two persons are compared don't use superlative like she is the tallest of the two girls. You should, whenever two is mentioned, you should use only comparative form of the adjective like wiser, taller, cleverer, braver, like that, shorter. You should use that, but you should not use the tallest. Don't go for the superlative when there are two persons or two things you are comparing. Don't use superlative form. Like she is the tallest of the two girls. Wrong. He is the wisest of the two 
boys or two brothers that is wrong you should use only she is taller of the two girls he is wiser of the two brothers of the you have to use in comparative degree whereas superlative degree completely you should not use in such case when there is two persons or two things are there comparison you should not use superlative form in that case next next one there are some words which are absolute and you cannot there is no logical comparison for such words absolute words no logical comparison for those words like universal unique perfect chief and then extreme so for that we cannot use any other forms comparative forms we cannot use like for example he is my chiefest enemy you should not say he is my chief enemy only chief not chiefest or chiefer okay chiefer chiefest is not there for chief only chief he is our chief guest we always say chiefest guest we never say or chiefer guest he is our chief only chief enemy chief after no er or est form similarly universal unique and perfect these are words for which there are absolute words there are no other degrees not possible no logical comparison not possible because they, those words are absolute words okay he wrote a perfect correspondence today he wrote a perfect you cannot say the more perfect most perfect nothing perfect means only one word absolute word so there are certain words for which there are no logical comparison because there are absolute words okay and next one is when different qualities of same person are compared same person two qualities he has then how do you compare and what to use in that we should use in that case more plus positive form we have to use when the same person two qualities of same person you are comparing then you have to use more plus positive more plus positive you have to use look at these examples she is shorter than fatter she is shorter than fatter so two comparative forms of the same person you cannot use the same girl you are talking about two things shorter and fatter then in such cases what we are we have to use more plus positive like she is more short than fat see more short than fat so qualities two different qualities of same person in such cases she is taller than somebody you can use sheila is taller than leela in such cases two persons you can compare but the same person two qualities you want to compare then you should not use the comparative form what you have to use more after that positive form you have to take up she is more short than fat more short than fat not she is shorter than fatter okay such cases you should not use similarly he is wiser than fairer so wiser and fairer same person you are talking to qualities wise and fair in such cases comparative form you have to you should not use go for more plus positive like he is more wise than fair more wise and fair so this is another common error we come across regarding degrees of comparison thanks to all next one when one person or thing is compared to all other of the same kind we should use any other or all other in comparative degree we should use any other or all other See, look at this example. She was taller than any girl. Any girl, it's wrong. You should say any other girl. She is taller than any other girl. You have to add after immediately after any. You should say other. Any other girl. You are comparing one girl with other girls, isn't it? So she was taller than any other girl in the class. similarly shelly was greater than all poets 
Shelley was greater than all other poets. You have to say all other poets immediately in between any girl or all poets. You should add other. It is compulsory in comparative degree. Okay, in comparative degree, any other girl, all other poets. Similarly, whenever any is there, you should say only singular noun. Any other after all the time, singular noun. All other after all the time, plural noun. This is also you have to remember. Any girl, all plural. Any after singular noun. Any other girl, singular noun. All other after plural noun. All other poets. Similarly, in positive degree, no other girl in the class. No other girl. No other after girl only singular noun. Very few girls or very few cities. So very few whenever you use, you should use plural noun. But no other after singular noun. Just like this. Okay. In positive degree also you have to follow that. No other after singular noun. And singular noun. Very few after plural Plural noun you have to use. Similarly, any after singular noun, all after plural nouns. So, this is the, another important thing you have to remember. Next one. Possessive degree means progressive degree. Means it increases. Progressive means progression means increase. So, it is the progressive degree. What does it tell us about? This comparison is used to show the quality of thing increases. As the time passes, as the time goes on, the it increases, the quality of a thing increases. That is called progressive. By name itself, progressive degree. It shows the progression or increase. It is getting hotter and hotter day by day. It is getting hotter and hotter. Two times you have to use because it is talking about progression. This comparison is used to show the quality of the thing increases. As the time passes, the quality of thing increases or progresses. You can also write progresses because it's the name itself, progressive degree. It is getting hotter and hotter day by day. You have to use only hotter and hotter. Here you cannot say hottest and hottest or simply hot and hot. It is getting hot and hot day by day. Wrong. Hottest and hottest, that is also wrong. You have to use only comparative adjective that is, is getting hotter and hotter day by day. Similarly, the patient is getting weaker and weaker day by day. Weaker and weaker, not weak and weak or weakest and weakest. No, only comparative form weaker and weaker day by day. The students are getting more and more ambitious, more and more ambitious, more and more, double, more and more. You should not say most and most. Okay. This is another thing you have to remember. Next. In the same progressive degree, one more is that parallel degree. Means this comparison, it is used to show that the qualities of two things go parallel. Two items, qualities of two things go parallel. That's why we call it as a parallel degree. Means if one quality increases, the other quality also increases. If one quality decreases, the other one is also decreases. That's why it is called parallel degree. The previous one, progressive degree. Okay. And this is parallel degree. Means the bigger the box, the heavier it is. The higher you go, the cooler it gets. So two, parallelly we are using two comparatives. And before that, we, what we are using, the we are using. The bigger, the heavier, the higher, the cooler. So, this is called the parallel degree. You are saying the qualities of two things go parallelly. That's why we use this. Is, we call it as parallel degree. And in both the cases, we use the before that. And we are using comparative adjectives. Like the bigger, the heavier. Here, the higher, the cooler. Okay. The next one is avoid repetition of noun. In such cases means more than twice you need not use the noun. 
Hence, only say first time if you use and you avoid the repetition of noun and instead you have to use than, that of or than, those of. Okay. And look at these examples. How to avoid the repetition of noun. The elephants of Africa are bigger than those of India. Than the elephants of India. Isn't it? Usually you are comparing the elephants of Africa with elephants of India. Okay. Then what you are doing? The elephants of Africa are bigger than the elephants of India. Instead of saying elephants again repeating repeating the word elephants here, what we are doing? We are writing instead of that than those of because it is a plural form. Elephants you are using those plural form. Okay, so the elephants of Africa are bigger than those of India than those of India instead of writing the elephants of Africa are bigger than the elephants of India instead of elephant repetition we are using those than after those of we are using similarly the climate of Vijaywada is hotter than Hyderabad usually this is given when such things are there you have to compare the climate of Vijaywada with the climate of Hyderabad only. You cannot compare the climate of Vijaywada with Hyderabad city. You cannot compare. So you have to use than that of Hyderabad. Than the climate of Hyderabad. Actually you are comparing the climate of Vijaywada. Climate of Hyderabad. You cannot compare the climate of Vijaywada with the city Hyderabad. Isn't it? You have to compare only the two climates of two cities. Then how to use the climate of Vijaywada is hotter than the climate of Hyderabad. Instead of repeating the word again, the climate, you are using that of, than that of. The climate of Vijaywada is hotter than that of Hyderabad. So this is the case. Similarly, the students of RK College are more intelligent than those of KR College. Those of more intelligent than those of instead of saying again than the students of KR college you are using than those of so than that of and than those of one is singular one other one plural one we are using so in, to avoid repetition we are using than that of than those of next so we have learned few of the common errors we have observed and then with this I'll wind up the session. I'll be back soon and we'll continue with the same topic common errors and degrees of comparison. Thank you for watching my video.